Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ryan Spurgeon, Healing Neck and Joints, and today it is a cold day, and had a busy day here. It's negative six, and been snowing all day. And today, though, I figured it's a good time to go through a chin tuck exercise and really focus in, show you how I do that, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I do it and the anatomy of that and see if that will uh, see how that goes. Okay so to start we think about our shoulders so that kind of our shoulders basically form the the base of our neck right and the uh, the thoracic spine so I always like to do the shoulders straight up then bring them back, roll them back as far as you can, open up the palms as you do that, opens up the shoulders and then let them kind of gently come down. And then just hold them slightly back as you're doing that, but at the same time let them relax down if that makes sense at all. And so as you do that, just kind of shift them through there a little bit. So that's your starting point. Okay. So we got that starting point, and then you're just going to go straight back. I don't want the teeth to go up, I don't want them down, I want your jaw, your teeth line basically level, and you're just going to go straight back. So I'm just going to hold that for about, so you can hold it for say maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds and hold it strong back there. Don't go back until you feel a bunch of pressure. Just go back till it feels like you're starting to build up some, maybe starting to build up just a little pressure, then back off. And ideally, perhaps you might feel some uh, opening of the tension at the, uh, or maybe a stretch right at the back of the, uh, the neck there. And hold maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And so that's one way to do it. Then also you can go through and actually do the, do an exercise with it where you're just straight back, relax, straight back, relax. So I like to do a combination of the two. Um, and, and you can do this kind of throughout the day, whole, throughout your day, especially if you're at a desk or sitting, if you're driving, to kind of try to pay attention to make sure that your, your head and neck aren't going forward. Hold that slight chin tuck position. But then if you're starting to really notice you're, you're slacking with it, spend some time, go through that Go through and hold about half a second. And actually go through and that'll exercise some of those muscles. They're called the deep cervical flexors are what we're trying to, to um, tighten. Anyway, so that's, that's the basic movement. And now that you get that, let's talk a little bit about why. And I wanna just, I guess I'm gonna try to do a little drawing so this is our, our neck, right? Side view, front side, back side on the left there. And ideally, this one doesn't have a lot of a curvature, but ideally we're having a curvature that is roughly like that. So let's just say that's our neck curvature. Your skull is up here. Your chin is down through here. But anyway, a lot of times as we're going through and living our life, and I'm going to go down to the thoracic spine, so that's at the top of the shoulders, and so as you go through life, a lot of times, and I'll see this on x-rays all the time, especially if it's getting real bad, the, for, the posture tends to suffer, we want to go forward with the neck, and it ends up say this is the skull, ends up almost doing one of these things. 
I may be exaggerating, but not that much, uh, because that can happen a lot of times where the neck goes like that, and then this is our mid back down through there, and because because of these curvatures up through here, we have a compensation effect that will happen. And so that natural thoracic spine curvature like that ends up being a little less than what it typically should be. A lot of times we'll see it almost dive forward at the mid-back. And so this is your shoulders. Hopefully you guys can kind of understand slightly what I mean with all this. But anyway, point being, that chin tuck, we're going back like that. So ideally, we're kind of straight bringing this area from there back around to there. If you've had it for a long period of time, you might have some issue with um, some degeneration and things to where it might not want to go back there. And you, that's where you don't want to force it. You just want to spend some time and go gently real um, just gently back and just go until you feel that pressure build up and, and call it good there. So the other thing I, I guess I'll point out here and then I'll, I'll call it quits on this uh, little video but a lot of times we'll notice stuff right at the bottom of the shoulders right through here uh, you'll notice a build up of tension there and that particular area is right down here on the spine and that's your facet joints is what we call them on the front you've got your discs on the back you've got your facets and so those are your two major joints two main two joints I guess essentially of your spine two types um, the front and the back ones and so as you're bringing your your head and neck back potentially you're loading up putting pressure against those as those are sliding down and I believe that's where a lot of that tension can end up coming from and it's not bad because quite often as that head and neck go forward I'm going to draw that facet joint out real quick your facet joints are essentially like that and you've got one facet here one up top and then you've got your discs in front of you there and so that kind of makes up a vertebrae and then down here you've got another one as you go forward as your neck goes forward that whole front top part of the neck goes forward goes forward guess what happens with these this goes that way and so this starts to slide up forward further on that joint and so yeah if that makes sense kind of wants to slide further there and so it's less stable that way too so again as you do that chin tuck you bring everything back that way remember it's going back that way you're going to start to slide those back on those joints uh, be more lined up on those joints ideally but that that build up a pressure because those joints maybe haven't been worked that way for a long time that can build up some of that pressure and so that is something to consider but uh, that's what it is it's not a bad thing necessarily but I don't want you to press into it too much and if you're really pressing into this stuff and doing a lot of a chin tuck right away forcing things you're well in the long term it might not be bad um, I still wouldn't do it, and it because well, for one, it's it, you don't want to force anything, right? And you don't want to uh, don't want to give yourself lots of headaches because that's something that it seems like will happen is if you really force some of those changes. So, so I, I just kind of ease off of it, and you're going to have better results if you just kind of gently go into it, get used to it, start making a little bit of a habit out of it and uh, you know kind of have a goal of overall health of your spine rather than just getting out of pain um, that's but they a lot of times they go hand in hand so all right that's that's all i'll do with you today so thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye